Hi, my name is Chris Hart, and I'm a cartoonist, and I am the author of the book, The Cartoonist's Big Book to Drawing Animals. And uh, lots of stuff in here, bears, lions, tigers, oh my, all sorts of things. And I hope you take a look at it. You can get it anywhere, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, all that kind of good stuff. And I'm gonna show you today how to draw a wacky, really wacky, Gorilla. I love doing gorilla characters because they're just so exaggerated with their teensy feet, their gigantic shoulders and arms, and the crazy posture. Now, we're going to start here with a basic construction that I laid out for you, and you can follow along with that. And then we're going to color in that finished one that I showed you. So, this is the basic construction. He's just, you know, huge on top with rounded shoulders on top, down to a tiny waist. And of course, gorillas don't have straight legs, it's bent. But for our little cartoon gorilla, they look even shorter. Legs look even shorter if they're just straight without the bend. Big shoulders and arms out here. And on the they put their, their arms, well, actually the hands uh, go on the knuckles. But for our sake, we'll have the back of the hands touching the ground. All right, so let's first start with the eyes. The eyes of most animals go straight on the muzzle right here. That's like the center line, right in the muzzle. So let's give him some small eyes, a lot of times uh, very big and brawny characters have tiny eyes to exaggerate that. And we're gonna give him eyebrows that really crunch down like this and a nice flowing line. Little beady eyes. And we're going to exaggerate that with by making the eyebrows look like muscles. We're going to give them some, some thickness. I'm going to add black around the eyes, like so, to really exaggerate them. Okay, like so. And put tiny little ears on them. This contrast is funny. And the small ears with a giant face and body is a funny look. They have this kind of square top of their head. Actually, gorillas really do have a little bit of a square top to their head, so we will show that. And we're gonna give them very wide nostrils, just, just to sort of be funny. And I'll add a circle, a squiggle inside each one. We're gonna give him a, a big, long mouth. This is kind of like a football shape, see that? lower lip like like so so it's a combination of shapes the top shape is rectangular the bottom shape is like a football but we kind of mask that so the the viewer doesn't see exactly what we're doing kind of like a magician who has certain tricks up his sleeve and the way we do that is we add a little ruffle on the outside so it kind of smooths out, smooths out the idea that this is really uh, based on shapes because you transition from one shape to the other, and you mask the idea that they're just two con concise shapes. All right, so now let's give him a little marking inside here. This is like where his belly uh, interior is, and this is a center line going down from the head, and we're going to give him sort of a, those, those Arnold Schwarzenegger pectoral muscles. You can even indicate a little rib cage if you want inside the rib cage. And then we got the shoulders here. The back, I mean, sometimes I make, like to make a bump in the middle for this. See how this kind of goes in in the middle? It, can, it doesn't have to be, it can just be round all the way around. I think the one I'm gonna show you that we're gonna color is that way. But this is also another nice way to make it look extra large. Big ruffles on the shoulders. And now we're going to taper those arms just a little bit as they come out. See, so taper down to the elbow, taper down to the wrist, taper down to the elbow, taper down to the wrist, like so. See, it's starting to come together now. And we will angle the hands in like so. You notice how it angles up. It's not flat, it angles up like that. Finish the hands here by finishing the fingers. Remember that the outside of the fingers is are straight. The inside is where you have the padding. Some ruffles here, if you like. And we're going to now take this stomach line and overlap the arm with it here. That gives it the perspective to look like the chest is leaning forward. From here, we'll go down. Nice 
transition from this shape to those shapes. Remember the transition we spoke about? We'll give them a low inseam, which is kind of goofy for a big character. And again, we're gonna taper. We're gonna taper the legs. And the legs are very, the feet are very simple, just shaped like this, except we add a little thumb. You can only see that thumb really on, uh, on primates and younger brothers, the only ones who really have that. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, so that's our guy. That's the construction. That's the finished guy. Now let's take this finished guy and we will add some color to him. Now, he is... Okay, now we're gonna color this guy in, the, the finished one. And, you know, I could use dark gray or very dark brown form because, you know, that's what gorillas look like, generally dark gray, but that's not that much fun. And this is a cartoon, so we're gonna go a little crazy. We're gonna, I'll do this fast with a colored pencil. We're gonna add sort of a medium blue, which is a very strange choice for a gorilla, but not for a cartoon gorilla. And that's part of the fun. You wanna wake up your audience with your color choices. You don't want to just be realistic because what's the point of being realistic with a gorilla that is clearly a cartoon? You know, it used to be a long time ago, back in the 1800s when I was a kid, when uh, all the cartoon characters had to be colored sort of logically. You know, uh, Bugs Bunny was so sort of colored logically. He's kind of gray and fluffy. Um, bunny, uh, but not anymore. Uh, everything can get a little crazy. So here is the area we're going to give him different tone. See some of his skin popping through. We want to have a little contrast so we'll make this area lighter. And same thing with his hands. I'll give a little bit of patch of green here. Also go behind him, not just in front. And you can add a couple of just blades of grass here, just give it a little bit of texture. And if you want, you go a little darker just by pressing harder and you can accentuate some of the muscles. Just by pressing a little harder, some shadow on the inside. On the inseam here. Same thing with muscles of the torso. And down here, a little shadow under the lip, inside the nostril, and maybe in the bridge of the nose. A couple more right here. Accentuate that forehead of his, that great forehead. Some of the hair. I could keep going forever, but you don't have forever. And I'm glad you joined me today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to post some of your drawings on my social media, please visit me at ChristopherHartBooks.com to, to look at the blogs or anything you want to ask. There's a contact page there. Or you can post a drawing to my Facebook, Facebook.com, Learn to Draw Cartoons. And I will try my best to get back to you. I try to get back to everybody. I appreciate my readers very much. And I hope that was fun for you. Um, that's it for now. I hope you take a look at some more videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.